Thank you folks for watching another three things that I learned this week video. Without further ado, let's go into the thick of things of the things that I learned in the course of the week. And the first thing that I learned this week is that when the Holy Spirit touches us, we become transformed. I'm going to say that again. When the Holy Spirit touches us, we become transformed. In the course of the week, I was relaxing. I just decided to watch a movie, which I don't usually redo so much. But at this time, I decided to watch a movie. And I was watching this series titled Crown. It's on Netflix. Maybe some of you guys should go check it out. Crown on Netflix. So I was watching Crown. And it got to the point where the soon-to-be crown king was realizing what was going to take place as his coronation on the next day with his daughter. So as he was performing or realizing with his daughter, he got to a point and he said something to his daughter. He said, when I will be anointed, he said, the anointing part is the most important part of the coronation tomorrow. He said, every other thing we're going to do is not as important as when the anointing oil touches me. But that was not what got me. This is what got me. This is what he said that truly got me. He said, when the oil touches me, I am transformed. He said, I am no longer an ordinary person. I, I am changed in the spirit. He said, that oil will bring him into direct contact with the divine. And he said one more thing that be, that's so profound. He said, I will be forever transformed. I will be forever changed. Isn't that true for us Christians that when the Holy Spirit comes upon our life, our life is transformed. We are no longer that person we were before the anointing came. We are no longer that person that we were seconds ago before the Holy Spirit came into our life. Do you know what that means? That guy said you it, it brings him in direct contact with the divine. Truly, and that is true when the Holy Spirit comes into our life God himself leaves his throne in heaven and comes and take a boat in your life in my life and that is why we are no ordinary person anymore and that is why we are transformed little wonder first Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says you are a holy nation a royal priesthood you are not just some ordinary person anymore and this is where I would say that we Christians should stop looking at ourselves as ordinary people we are divine we are we we are immortal our life transcend beyond this physical world that we are seeing right now. Our life continues. Even when we die, it doesn't end there. Our life is transformed and we will continue to reign with him. If each and every one of us have this understanding that as many of us who carry the Holy Spirit inside of us, we are forever transformed. We are forever changed. We are not just anybody anymore. And that's why you and I cannot continue in sin. We cannot unite our blood because we are royals. Royals just don't do anything they like. Royals have special things that is assigned for them to do. And I hope that the Lord will bring more understanding to what I've said. So the second thing that I learned in the course of the week is that attitude is everything. Yes, attitude is truly everything. And there was this war veteran that I was listening to. He was, you know, narrating his story of uh, his experience in Afghanistan. And he said there was this time his troop and him were walking through a minefield. And then in the course of them working, he took off his backpack and dropped it. And unfortunately for him, the backpack landed on a mine and the mine exploded and he took off his two legs and one arm so and he was descri uh, describing his recovery process how hard and how tedious it was and now he was able to work with artificial limbs and use an artificial arm and you know this guy was all bubbling and all full of life and all smiling he has a family he has a daughter and he was sharing the experience of how life is with his daughter and how he's enjoying life and he said somebody came and asked him said how 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 can you be this happy seeing that you've lost your leg you you've lost your arm don't you miss your legs don't you miss your arm how, how can you be this happy and he said them he said my attitude is changed he said how the guy asked, he said, because I forget the things of the past. And that struck me. And that stood with me. He said, attitude is everything. What attitude are, are you and I putting forth to every situation in our life? The problems, the issues, and the things that we are feeling. Look, you and I cannot change what has happened in the past. It is high time we began to move forward with a new attitude, with a renewed vigor, with a renewed strength to go and capture what is high. That guy said, I can't, I can't, I can't be 
dwelling on the past. I can't be dwelling on the fact that I've missed, that I have lost my two legs and one arm. I said, now is what I have. I have put on a new attitude to life. If you and I could do that, put on a new attitude and face what is ahead of us, that would be great in our life. Little wonder, Paul said in Philippians 3 verse 13, he said, I'm forgetting the things of the past. He said, I am pressing forward towards the goal. All we need to do in our life is to keep pressing forward towards the goal. And I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And the third thing that I learned in the course of the week is that we should not lean on our own understanding. Do not lean on your own understanding. Uh, I just finished class and I was in my car and I was driving back home and I was this truck in front of me. Uh, it's a haulage kind of truck, you know, this kind of truck that transports, you know, goods all over the nation. Uh, but that, that, that is not even, you know, what caught my attention. But all of a sudden I looked and I was this, you know, Bible passage that was quoted and I was pasted and was very conspicuous at the back of the uh, at the back of the truck. It was Philippians chapter three verse six, and I was like, in America, you know, a company boldly play. I mean, placing scriptures at the back, you know, of of of, of, of their business truck which goes to show that that scripture was the mode in which they are preaching. And what is in Proverbs chapter 3 verse, he said, lean not on your own understanding, acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path. Little wonder that business is striving. You can imagine when a business mode of operation is that they are not going to lean on their own understanding, but they are going to acknowledge God in all their businesses. When they are delivering, they are acknowledging God. When they receive order, they are acknowledging God. And it says that he will direct our path. Little wonder God and the Holy Spirit is directing the company's path and the company is booming. How? If you and I, our lives is operated on that model too, that we will not lean on our own understanding. Look, you and I, our understanding is going to fail us, Lord. Our knowledge can't take us anywhere. We need to quit leaning on our own understanding and acknowledge him in all our ways. Look at what he said. He said, when we quit leaning on our own understanding, when we acknowledge his way, what did he say? He will direct your path. Where are those things in life you think you need direction right now? Where are those things in your life that you think you need God to show you the way? All you got to do, stop leaning on your understanding. Stop doing the mathematics. Stop doing the calculation. I do it a lot too. You want to put two and two together to make sure it for God is saying, do not do that calculation. Say, so lean on me and I will direct your path. And those are the three things that I learned in the course of this week. Is this video has blessed you? Feel free to share this video and if you want to leave a comment for me, leave a comment for me in the comment section below. And until next time, like I usually say, be that which God wants you to be and never stop learning.